Hello, my dear students. Welcome back. Today we are going to learn. So today I am going to teach science of class eight, the branches chemistry. This is a continuation of lesson number one. In the first lecture we have discussed about synthetic fibers. So it is the continuation of lesson number one. So before starting the lesson, let me help you to recall what you have learned in the first lecture which will be helpful to understand which will, which will help you to understand today's topic so let me help you to recall you that we have learned about synthetic fibers synthetic fibers the synthetic fibers are polymer synthetic fibers are polymer and we have discussed the definition of polymer also polymers are made up of many smaller units joined together many smaller units joined together so now the question is what are the types of mug mugs or bucket that you use at home mugs or bucket that you use at home i mean to say what materials are used to make mugs and buckets that you are using at your home so here comes the today's topic that is plastic yum the season ari ba magamadi bucket yeng mo tanda kai ne sai yeng mo tu ni ko ng si topic si today's topic is plastics today's topic is plastics so let's start with the lecture so first topic is plastics first topic is plastics so like synthetic fibers plastic is also a polymer like synthetic fiber plastic is also a polymer so they are made up of many smaller units joined together in your textbook two types of arrangement arrangement are given in case of plastic the two types of arrangement are one is linear two type of arrangement are given one is linear arrangement and the other one is cross and linked arrangement cross linked arrangement and in, in the starting of the topic itself properties are discussed some properties are discussed properties of plastics are discussed that they can be recycled they can be recycled they can be reused and they are found in varieties of color so the next point is within the topic plastic the next point is types of plastic types how many types are there so how many types are there? when you look at your textbook you will find two types of plastic one is a thermoplastic okay let me write it again two types of plastic you will find two types of plastic you will find one is thermoplastic thermoplastic and the other one is one is thermoplastic and the one other one is thermosetting plastic thermosetting plastics so when you look at the definition or say the difference between thermoplastic and thermosetting the definition is thermoplastics are plastics that deform easily on heating they deform they deform easily deform mari mai masak se all they deform easily on heating sag han no matam da on to on jin ya and can be easily and can be bent easily on to on jin ya can be bent easily can be bent easily so in case of a thermosetting plastic once molded na na sending mo mong da han sem to a tham grani once molded sheng ro tung da cannot be softened amu hanjan pa ya ro cannot be softened by heating cannot be softened by heating i deform to ya ro na na pa mo mong da han sheng ro ni adu sheng jo chen jin to di ya ro thermo setting de so thermoplastic in case of thermoplastic can be bent easily thermo setting once molded cannot be softened by heating Let's take an example so that you can understand easily. 
in case of thermo say thermoplastics examples are polyethylene 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 khoi sinna baduni polyethylene adu masi ke case how this is in thermoplastics in see they are used in making toys combs containers in case of thermosetting plastic the example is backlight is given in your textbook backlight backlight is given in your textbook they are used in making electric switches backlight electric switches how this is in So let's move on to the second topic of today's lecture. To the second topic. So what is the second topic of today's lecture? Plastics as material of choice. Akhoin si na matam da plastic se the sizine akhoin. Si marum kai no yenga si. Plastics as a material of choice. Plastics as material of choice plastics as material of choice koi na sina ba matam da plastic na sab je khone this is na gali mase kai mira ni yang si so in the starting itself with this given the plastic container seems most convenient sina ba no hai most convenient kai no sina ba ni wa se because they are mo se ke to yam yam like wet Yang lower price hong ni, wala di gi strength good strength kali, easily handling sina wadi am nuai ko, so plastic says material choice, wala di sina wadi am nuai plastic ki posi ni sina ni ngi si kai gi nuai di sina wadi am nuai ba, maram na kai gi lightweight lower price good strength. Some points are given or some points are considered under this topic. Three points are discussed under this topic. Number one is plastics. Plastic is non-reactive. Plastic is non-reactive. So number one point under this topic is plastic is non-reactive. Second point under this topic is plastic is light strong and durable now the topic is plastics are plastics are poor conductor plastics are poor conductor so three points are discussed under this topic number one is plastic is non reactive reaction thok to bana maram oidana akhoi na wasi containers habada Tadi aku nak purchasing store tu, nampak container sah pada masih aku nak sisi ni. Mesti calling suka gende, jod ke tu mana calling kaga gende? Korod, they are not corroded easily. They are not corroded easily, non reactive or even ini, they are not corroded easily. So they are used for making various kinds of material, including many store. Tahu nampak container sah pada sisi ni. Ani suka pada plastik is light, strong and durable. Yangi kali yang punya cili. Ada nama ramu itu na aku ni masih sini. Example, we are we used to make mugs, buckets. So plastics are poor conductor. So regarding this topic, poor conductor it means poor conductor of heat and electricity. Poor conductor sih kalau sih matang sih tak boleh sih heat and electricity. Heat and electricity ni mana hai sih? Heat and electricity. Poor conductor of heat and electricity. So in case of poor conductor of heat and electricity or using this property, plastics are used to make covers of electric wires. Electric wire ki covers how this is nahi. When you look at the fry pan at your kitchen also, the handles are made of plastic. The handles of screwdrivers also, they are made of plastics. They are because of the property of poor conductor of heat. Poor conductor of heat. सी के प्रॉपर्टीज़ इसी ने रखा स्क्रू डाबे के हैंडल सारी बा फ्राइंग पैन के हैंडल सारी बा कवर सारी बा मुझे प्लास्टिक ना कवर हुए थे तो ये मरम गिनी पॉवर कंडक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सी की प्रॉपर्टीज़ इसी ने रखा प्लास्टिक सारी यूज़ तू कवर इलेक्ट्रिक वायर्स सो द थर्ड टॉपिक ऑफ़ टुडेस लेक्चर इस so far we have discussed 
advantages or uses of plastics now we are going to discuss the disadvantage of using plastics so how it affect the environment how it affect the environment so plastics and environment so I will repeat it again so far we have discussed about the advantages now we are going to discuss disadvantages of using plastics we use plastics in huge amount we use plastics in huge amount I given the reason also say for example to wrap things we use plastics or to pack things also we use plastics bucket mugs so they are endless when you list when you try to list the uses of plastics it is endless so now the question is about the disposal of plastic so if we are using plastic in the huge amount there must be a way to dispose plastic the question is the or the problem we are facing now is disposal of plastic disposal of plastic is a major problem disposal of plastic is a major problem disposal of plastic is a major problem that we are facing the question is why why disposal of plastic is a problem to us so let's discuss the problem the major problem is a plastics take several years to decompose they take or plastic takes several years several years to decompose several years to decompose that means plastics are non biodegradable plastics are non biodegradable So biodegradable means that decompose through natural processes. Non-biodegradable means that do not decompose through natural processes. So when we discuss about the plastics, plastics are non-biodegradable. That means it takes several years to decompose. That's why plastic is not environmental friendly. Plastic is not environment environment friendly. Not environment friendly. Or you can say it causes it causes environmental pollution. Environmental pollution. It causes environmental pollution. So let's discuss about the pollution that comes out of plastic. So when you try to dispose plastic somewhere, it remains as such for several years. Since it is non biodegradable, the next point is what if we try to burn plastics for disposal? So, while burning, the problem we are facing is if we burn pl plastic, it, uh, rele it releases lots of poisonous fumes, poisonous fumes. In the atmosphere which causes air pollution so if we try if we try to burn plastic also it causes air pollution so what are the options so what are the options for the disposal we cannot dump the plastic as it is non-biodegradable we cannot burn also it as it releases poisonous gas the options left are avoid Avoid using plastics. Avoid using plastics as far as possible. Avoid using plastics as far as possible. Then uh, make use of bags made of cotton jute, cotton or jute bags instead of plastics. Third one is recycle if possible. Try to recycle if possible or reuse if possible. So these are the options we can do while this while we consider about the disposal of plastic in short we need to follow every citizen need to follow four R principle so what is mean by four R? the one is reduce reduce the use of plastic reuse try to reuse if try to reuse again and again the third one is recycle so try to recycle if possible 
and the last one is recover so it is an advice to all the citizens or to all the to all my students that while using plastic try to follow four our principle that is reduce reuse recycle and recover now with this i think lesson number one uh, lesson number three is complete which is lesson number one of uh, chemistry so i'll summarize what we have learned today so plastics we have learned i'll summarize what we have learned today so we learned that plastics are plastics are polymer so like synthetic fiber plastics are also polymer and two types we have discussed that is thermos plastic and thermosetting plastics the second topic that we have discussed today is plastic as a material of choice as a material of choice because of their a property as material of choice because of their property like uh, lightweight durability then uh, lower price so we use a plastic in a huge amount so we you we use plastics we use toys we use um, chair we use so many things made of plastic because of their property and three three topics are discussed under this head the plastic is non-reactive plastic is light strong and durable plastics are poor conductors the third topic of today's lecture is plastics and the environment regarding the disposal of plastics regarding the disposal of plastics and how it affect the environment so it causes environmental pollution if we burn also it causes air pollution so we should what we should do while using plastic we should remember for our principle that is reuse recycle then recover then reduce we, we, we should use in a minimum amount So now, come, now, so the last one I would like to mention is regarding this lecture, regarding for every lecture. So in every lecture, evaluation is very important to check whether you have understand the topic or not. So in order to evaluate yourself, try to find the answers of these questions, difference between thermoplastic 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 and thermosetting plastic and thermosetting plastics and thermosetting plastics so i repeat it again whether to check to check whether you have understand or not evaluation is very important in order to evaluate yourself try to find the answer of these questions avoid the second question is avoid plastics as far as possible comment on this advice so what is your view or what will be your answer in this topic in this question avoid plastic as far as possible so the so in order to evaluate yourself, please try to find the answers of this question. You are not supposed to write the answer in your classroom notebook because this is just a just an evaluation. So with this, I conclude my lecture. And with this, lesson number three is complete, I think. Lesson number three is chemistry's first lesson. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening and watching.